So here are what you need to like replace the Mix Xenox Minifold. So this is the Torx T10 screwdriver tip though. So this can unscrew the A screws on the sides of the machine. So you can take the machine cover out. And this one is Torx T9 screwdriver. So this one is for taking the Mix Xenox Minifold apart. But you can use the hex screwdriver as well. And wrench, hex wrench. So as long as the size is 9, it'll work. And this is the tweezers, so kind of like angle tweezers. This one is to take the um, sensors out easily. And this one has got the PH2 size Phillips head screwdriver. And this one is for just putting the screws in. Yeah, I've already unscrewed the machine cover so I can just take it out. So what you need to do is just pull the sides and then just pull it up. That's it. And if you see here, so you need to take those four screws out, but before that you have to actually take this whole thing out first. So there are two screws on this side, so Phillips head screw, and two screws on the other side. So you need to take them out first. So unscrew these two. And on the other side as well. Take this part apart, so there are one, two, three, four more screws on there. So now we need to take the sensors from the PCB. So except for this one, you need to take them all out, but you have to remember which color is on where. So this one is brown is on the top and kind of sky blue and then the gray and you don't need to take this one out and then the orange and this one is dark blue and here is the seven pin yeah this one should be seven pin cable as well so you need to take them all out except for the red one so how to do is you just tweezer place it like this and then wiggle it a bit, then you can take it out. Or you can just use, you can just use your finger to just pull it while you wiggle it. But this one is kind of hard to assess, so use tweezer for that. And this one is easy to assess. That's it. And then for this one, this one here, you need to use your finger. So pull it slightly with your nail, and then if the bottom one is kind of like popped out then you can pop the top one then you can take it out that's it and then you need to take this tube out as well just pull it down then you can take it out easy and then from now you need to take the tubes out here are one and two three four and if you go down here this purple one as well so you need to take them out how to do is and this is the clip so you can put your tweezer in the gap and then just pull it out like this then you can just pull the tube out something like this and there is o-ring white o-ring inside so you need to take the o-ring out as well but i'll do that after i take this part out the same for the other tubes and here is easy, this one is easy one. Something like this, pull it out. Yeah, it can have some water drops. And the three, two. And here as well, this one you have to, yeah, make the position that you can do the job easily. And the clips are down here. Yeah, uh, these ones. So you can just the tweezer in, take it out. Tweezers in, take it out. Tweezers in, take it out. That's it. And then put it out, pull it out, and put it out. That is it. And now you can pull the whole thing out like this and you can also see there are some cables left so you just need to take this one and this a pin cable 
and this PCB power cable. Then you can just take it out. So this one has got the, so you can actually press this one on the top, press it, press it, and then you can wiggle it to take it out like this. And this one, this plastic connector can pop out, so you can just push it in, that's it. And A pin cable, same like the seven pin cable before, use your finger or nail, pull it on the bottom, pull it the top, bottom, top, that's it. And then this mini full power cable as well, so you can just push it, and then wiggle it, but I have to use my both hands, wiggle it, just take time. That's it, so you can take those out. Now you gotta take the sensors out on this mixox any manifold as well. So those two, uh, this one here, and then the tube as well. This one here, but I think I'm not sure if you got the this U shaped tube. So if you don't have one, you have to take this one as well. But you, I'm pretty sure that you already got the sensors on the manifolds. So you just you just need to take the sensors from the PCB so this one here so you have to still remember which color goes where one two three that's it no need to take this one out and yeah this black one one and there is another clip down there two then just pull it out that's it and this one as well I'm not sure if you have this tube though if you have one you have to take this one here as well but if you don't have one then you don't need to take this one out but after you put this one replace this one you just put this tube inside that's it but just in case then you have this tube I just put it out from here like this nice and then you've got to take these four screws out and this one is kind of old version so here are nuts as well so I have to hold the nuts so this is um, seven millimeters so hold the nuts and then unscrew it with the driver and the um, this bolts are the old ones as well so you need a t10 torque square di driver to do that or t10 size of the hex one so hold it and then so i'm i think you still you also have the nuts and bolts style but the new manifolds don't have the nuts it's on the plate this uh it doesn't have plate but it that one has got the plate so you can do the job easily and that one and that one just has got two bolts so you can do the job much easier that's it so now you need to just pull it down to take it out but it's quite stuck so for that actually i recommend you to use the yeah sort of flathead driver so put it in here and then make the gap that's it easy now you just need to replace it with your new manifold so this one is you don't need to use this one anymore and bring the new manifold and then if you see the new manifold there will be two screws and there will be a plate that has the nuts four nuts but you just need to use the two on there so now it's all backward you just need to do it backward so put the new one on here align the hold up and then put the plate on here and then line the holds up and then put the two screws in and that screws require the t9 head torx or hex driver so put the screws in that's it and that's it and you actually don't need the old ones anymore but i've got the old ones so so now you need to do is put the sensors back sensors back in the sensors don't have these sleeves but it has the color so you just need to match it 
and this one goes on the top dark green goes on the top and the yellow is on the middle so this one this protruded side this side goes the empty side so this two holes goes down so put it like this and then put this one on here as well and now you need to put the you know black sleeve this tube in so sleeves face the main manifold so something like this but not just putting in you need to just take the o-ring first and then put it in in that way you can safely do the job otherwise the o-rings can get torn so how to take the o-ring is just gently drag it with a driver if you go harder then you may tear the o-ring so now you actually need to take all the o-rings out not only here but every holes that you took the tubes out and here are three as well you should go gentle with the o-rings if it gets torn the water can leak on this side so now you need to put the o-rings on the tubes something like this so this one goes on here and this one here and on the other tubes as well so and then this one i actually got the o-ring on here already and the other side is on the manifold so in here as well oh there in here as well so take it out there you go that's it come on yeah so now you need to do with this one first so put them in the hole together and then slightly push it in while you kind of wiggle it and if it's in you cannot see the metal parts on here but if it's not all the way in you still see the kind of like golden metal color on here the metal one this one on here so you need to push it in until you cannot see it on here you have to do it very gently that's it yeah and then put the clips back in as well If it's not all the way in, you cannot put the clips in anyway. Go in, that's it. And now this one here, I'll do here first, on this side first. This, this can be a bit tricky. So I just want to bend it more. To us it easier, wiggle it a bit. Yeah, it's in and put the clip in there you go nice and this one goes to here just gently wiggle it there you go and then clip that's it and then you need to put this one back in here <coughs> firstly connect this power cable on here so this one goes on this side facing this side match the hole and the pins and then just push it in until you here click and then it just backwards the a pin cable goes in here and if you see here here is nothing and here you can see the pins in here so this kind of exposed part goes to the open part open side so you can just plug it in like this right and now you need to plug the 
This one is the drain valve cable. So drain valve cable goes in here. It should go like this, then drain goes like this. So nothing is interfered, nothing. And then now you have to, you need to go for the tubes. So those three are actually harder ones. So what I do is I do with this green one first. Green one goes in here, yellow and the orange. Green one in, that's it. And then put the clip in, that's it. And the yellow one in and also put the clip back in and the orange one now and the clip that's it yeah so now place the manifold back to the original position so make sure nothing is in the way so organize it organize the cables the purple tube goes under these three cables so something like this that's it. Organize it. And then now you need to put this kind of like red carrot color tube in. So gently. That's it. And then clip. Nice. And now you need to put the reconnect the sensors back. So, the seventh cable, this one here, like this. And the dark blue goes in here. And the orange cable on there. And the gray cable goes on here. And the sky blue goes on there. And the uh, brown one goes on the top. There we go. Done. Yeah. Now the tube, this tube goes on this one. The bell valve. There we go. Just push it in. Easy. That's it. And then the purple one. This is, there is another o ring inside. Oh, shoot. In here. This is the overpressure valve. Yeah. Go on the tube and push it in. Wiggle it a bit. That's it. And then clip in. There you go. Now you have the three tubes left. So brown, blue, and gray. Brown. And then now you need to put this one on the side and then screw the and this two as well. Screw them in. That's it. And then you just need to put the cover back on. And if you if you see inside of the cover, you can see this kind of tape. So this side is goes to the pump side. So it goes like that. And then line the holes up and put the A screws back in. That's it. Thank you.